Hello again mga kapamilya, mga kapuso. Welcome to my channel, Oriol G. Ngayon, talakayin natin ang pagsusolve ng coin problem or bill problem, no? Uh, so, pero ganun pa rin, i-apply pa rin ang linear equation in one variable. Okay, problem number one. Lucy has saved 300 coins consisting of 25 cents and 10 cent coins. If the total value is 45 pesos, how many coins of each does she have? Okay, so, ang technique dyan, so, ano yung mga coins natin? So, we have 25 cents. Ang 25 cents ay 0 0.25 at ang 10 cent ay 0 0.25. Next, ang tanong, ilan yung 25 cents? So, dahil hindi mo alam, represent mo as N. Okay? Variable. And then, si 10 cents coins, hindi mo rin alam, so represent mo as 300 minus N. Bakit 300 minus N? Kasi yung kabuuan daw ay 300. So, so, 300 minus N, yun na lang yung, halag, yung bilang nung 10 cents. Okay? So, next. Ano yung value nila? Dahil hindi mo alam, multiply mo na lang muna to. So, 25 cents times N, that is 0.25 N. At saka, ito multiply mo rin, distribute. So, we have 30 points. 0.10 times 300 is 30 0.10 times n is 0.10 n. Pero kapag pinag-total tong value na to, ang halaga ay 45 pesos. So, ibig sabihin, 0.25 n plus 30 minus 0.10 n equals 45 pesos. Okay, next ay find the value of n. So, manipulate na natin to applying the properties of equation so pwede natin com combine to 0.25n minus 10n is 0.10n pala sorry 0.10n is 0.15n plus 30 is equal to 45 so gusto natin mawala si 30 dito so minus 30 both side so we have 0.15 is equal to 15 and then divide both side by 0 0.15 so 15 divided by 0 0.15 so 15 divided by 0 0.15 division of decimal move two decimal places to the right so magdadagdag tayo ng dalawang 0 and then 15 ay 1500 divided by 15 is 1 5 minus 0, 0, 0. Ibig sabihin, 15 divided by 0, 15 is 100. So, balik tayo doon kasi how many coins of each kind does she has? She have. So, si 0 0.25 or 25 cents. So, that is N where N is 100. So, 100 na piraso yung 25 cents. Yung bilang naman ng 10 cents natin ay 300 minus N. Since N is 100, so 300 minus 100. So, that is 200. So, 125 cents and 210 Sets. That is problem number one. Problem set number two. A collection of five peso coins, ten peso coins, and one peso coins amounting 410 pesos. So there are twice as many ten peso coins as one peso coins and four more five peso coins than one peso coins. How many coins in each kind? So ibig sabihin tatlo yung klase nating coins we have 5 peso 10 pesos and 1 
and then number of coins ay sabi there are twice as many 10 peso coins as 1 peso so hindi mo alam yung bilang ng 1 peso represent natin as x and twice as many ibig sabihin doble daw yung bilang ni 1 peso coins and then 4 more 5 peso coins than 1 peso coins so lamang si 5 peso coins ng apat kaysa kay 1 peso coins okay so value so yung halaga ng 5 pesos total value ng 5 pesos na meron siya ay multiply to so 5 times x plus 4 yung 10 peso coin naman ay 10 times 2x at saka 1 1x and then kapag i-add natin tong value na to ang kabuan ay 410 so 5 times x plus 4 plus 10 times 2x plus x equals 410 so find now the value of x so distribute muna natin to we have 5x plus 20 plus 20x plus x equals 410 so 5x plus 20x plus x is 26x plus 20 equals 410 so nagadin natin yung 20 dito so subtract both side by 20 so we have 26x equals 300 90. Okay? So, divide both side by 26. So, x equals 390 divided by 26 is uh, 15. So, x is equal to 15. So, balik tayo doon. So, how many coins in each kind? So, balik tayo dito. So, five pe number of 5 peso coins. So, 5 plus Four is 19 so 15 si 2x naman number of 10 peso coin is 15 times 2 equals 30 at saka 1 peso coin natin ay 15 so ito yung pinaka sagot Okay, last example number three. Okay, so one day a man deposited two hundred, uh, two thousand two hundred fifty peso in a bank. If his deposit consisted of twenty nine bills composed of fifty pesos and hundred peso bill, how many each kind? Okay, so determine muna natin. So we have fifty peso bill and hundred bill. Ang tanong, ilan yung 50 at ilan naman yung 100. So, sabi, there are 29. So, kabuuan mo ay 29. So, ibig sabihin, yung 50, hindi mo alam, represent mo as N. And then, si 100 ay 29 minus N. Okay? Para yung kabuuan mo ay 20. Kasi 29 yung kabuuan. Tama, na bilang ng bill. So, dahil hindi mo alam yung isa, N muna. Tapos yung natitira, 29 minus N. And then, value neto. So, just multiply. 50 times N, 50N. 100 times 29 minus N is 2,900 minus 100N. Okay, next. So, 550N plus 2,900 minus 100N equals, yung pag pinag-add natin to ang kabuang halaga ay 2,250. So, we can now find the value of 
and so 50n minus 100n is my negative 50n equals 2,250. So, ilipat natin dito sa kabila si 2,900. So, mag-moin tayo both side by 2,900. So, 0 will become negative 50n equals ito naman ay 650. So, next, divide both side by negative 50. So, cancel na to. So, n is equal to negative 650 pa na to. So, negative 650 divided by 50 is 30. 650 divided by Okay, so n is equal to 650 divided by 50 is 13. So, ano? How many each kind? So, dito tayo. So, if n is equal to, to 13, I how many each kind? So, that is n. Ibig sabihin na nahanap yung n natin. Bilang ng 50 natin ay 13. And number of 100 that and I, 29 minus 13. So 29 minus 13 is 16. So meron tayong 13 na 50 pesos at saka 16 na 100 pesos. Okay, so that's all. And muli, God bless sa lahat. Bye.